When the Thompson family moved into their new home, they were excited to start their new life. But they soon realized that their home was not as perfect as they thought. The first sign of something being off was the strange noises coming from the attic. They would hear whispering and soft footsteps, but when they went to check, they found nothing. Their daughter, Emily, would often talk about a little girl she would see in her room at night. She described her as having long, dark hair and wearing a pale, white dress. The family initially thought it was just her imagination, but as the days went by, the strange occurrences became more frequent. Emily would often come home from school with bruises and scratches, and she would claim that the little girl had hurt her. The family tried to brush it off as her being clumsy, but deep down, they knew something was wrong. One night, the Thompsons decided to investigate the attic. They found an old, dusty doll and a trunk filled with old clothes and photographs. As they looked through the photographs, they found one of a little girl who looked exactly like the one Emily had described. They soon discovered that the little girl in the photographs was the daughter of the previous owners of the house. She had died in a tragic accident in the attic and her spirit had been trapped in the house ever since. The Thompsons realized that their daughter was being haunted by the ghost of the little girl. They tried to get rid of the ghost by burning the doll and the clothes, but the ghost was still there, haunting Emily. They had to move out of the house, leaving behind the ghost of the little girl in the attic. The house remained empty for years, but the spirit of the little girl still lingered, waiting for her next victim to come. The Thompsons never spoke of their experience and tried to move on with their lives. But they couldn't shake off the feeling that the little girl's ghost was still with them. Emily would still have nightmares about her and would see her in her room at night. Years later, the Thompsons decided to move back to their old neighborhood. But as soon as they stepped into their old house, they could feel the presence of the little girl's ghost. They tried to ignore it, but the strange occurrences started again. Emily, now a teenager, refused to stay in the house. She claimed that the little girl's ghost was still hurting her and that she could feel her presence everywhere. The Thompsons knew they had to do something to get rid of the ghost once and for all. They contacted a paranormal investigator, who discovered that the little girl's ghost was still trapped in the house because of the unresolved trauma of her death. The investigator suggested they hold a seance to contact the ghost and give her a proper farewell. The Thompsons were hesitant, but they knew they had to do something to help Emily and their family. They held the seance, and the little girl's ghost finally found peace. She thanked the Thompson family for freeing her from her haunting, and her spirit was finally able to move on. The Thompsons were relieved and grateful to have their home back. But they would never forget the little girl in the attic, and the traumatic experience they had gone through. The house still stands today, but the ghost of the little girl is no longer there. But for those who know the story, the memory of the little girl in the attic still lingers, a haunting reminder of the past. If you like this video please give it a like and share. Subscribe the channel for more amazing stories.